Hello and welcome to another video. Today's episode is part in the series where we are taking a closer look to the ArchLinux installation procedure step by step. And today's step is selecting the mirrors from which we are going to download the packages. So in the ArchLinux installation procedure, we will be uh, installing packages from the internet. And so these packages will be installed from servers that are listed in the mirror list, which you can see here. So this uh, for this we will have to select the proper mirrors. So what is exactly the mirrors and how do we select them? So uh, this is uh, after we already partitioned the disks and formatted these partitions and all these uh, block devices are mounted to the file system. So the next step we should be taking is install the packages of the operating system, so the main things of the operating system to these disks. But before we can do that, we have to select where do you want to install those packages from. So the mirrors are basically a lot of different servers. So the Arch Linux repositories, which contain all the pre-compiled packages that your uh, Pac-Man package manager install on your system, are not just found on one server somewhere, but they are mirrored to uh, several servers around the world. And so they, of course, the, main, the updates are not exactly instantaneous, but uh, you will have a better luck at trying to download the stuff from a closer, uh, a geographically closer server than, you know, so this is kind of more important than how up-to-date the uh, mirror servers are, but you have to consider that also too. So the Arch ISO, the, uh, our live medium, contains the mirrors listed by syncing status, so the mirrors that are listed up in the top of the file are the ones that are synced uh, better, or like uh, all the newer packages have or has uh, synced there with a higher percentage at the uh, instant when the ISO was created. So this information might or might not be out of date already. So, and the Pac-Man will always just try to download stuff from the server listed at the top and will only resort to the other servers that, if that fails and then it will just try one by one. So when we want to edit the mirror list, then yeah, we want to use the servers that are geographically close to your location because that's where your connection will be faster and so this mirror list is located at etc slash pacman d slash mirror list so let's take a look at our uh, virtual machine so in this virtual machine i booted the arch iso and so we will uh, go to this uh, under the directory where uh, pacman d of after directory of pacman d where the mirror list can be found, so let's uh, do that cd slash etc slash pacman d and if we just list all the files here that you can see that it contains this mirror list uh, file and let's, uh, before we do anything we should make a copy of that by cp mirror list and it will be maybe mirror list dot bkp so now if i list the contents of this directory you can see that we have both the mirror list and the backup so once we uh, did that we would like to use this very easy command to basically copy the uh the all the on, only the list of the servers that are located in our countries we want to so of course we will have to write the country names in here and uh, so if you are not sure then of course you can take a look at the file and check how your country is represented there for example i am in the republic of korea but maybe it is listed as south korea 
So you can just check it maybe if you type in less mirror list and then you can just sc scroll, scroll and you can find like Belarus, Greece, Germany, Turkey, France. Maybe I can just uh, type the slash character and type in Korea. Uh, button not found. Maybe I have to type it. Uh, capital K and then you can see it is listed as South Korea, not as the Republic of Korea. So now that I do know that I can select uh, how I want uh, to type in this uh, command I, to result in the uh, you know the mirror list I want. So the command will be the grep command so grep mirror list the big Keep pick mirror. Oh, why? Grab. Let me just list it again. Maybe just the automatic. Uh, the auto completion did not work for grab here for some reason. Mirror list dot bkp, and so the uh, dash e will be South Korea, and so I also want some nearby countries to be on my list so Japan and uh, Taiwan and so if I just do this then we'll just uh, get the lines that contain these words from the file but I want it to list the next line so I will use dash a1 so okay now we got a lot of all these uh, different uh, servers listed but some of them has this uh, separator between them so let's just uh, use grab dash v dash e again oh yeah dash e and then yeah of course the to do dashes should be there and now this is this is looking good so i want this output to be my new uh, mirror list so I'll just uh, add this uh, kind of uh, redirection character over there. And now that I did this command, I grabbed and I grabbed again and put it in mirror list. So we can just check the contents of the file by typing in less mirror list. And then you can see that uh, Japan, Taiwan, Taiwan, South Korea. So all these... Uh, these servers are listed in our new files so let's uh, take a look at what exactly did we do with this command so we did this grep we gave this is the file name here mirror list and then the dash e we typed in three countries we all with dash e and then we said dash a1 and so the output of this command has been piped with the pipe character into another grab command and then that was uh, redirected to the file mirror list so this is uh, how it works in bash and this is how it works in zsh which is the default shell for the arch iso and so what is this grab command is basically this searches for words or text in a file so we typed in the command grep and typed in the file name and then we use dash e to specify the text to search for and so if we just use the dash e then it would only list out the lines which contain the text that we searched for and we so we used the uh, dash capital a and the number uh, combination uh, switch and this will result in n file lines after the match so if there we don't include this that would and would be zero so there would be only the lines which contain the text uh, and a1 means that one line after that a2 would mean two lines after that etc and the matches are separated by two dashes so that's why we have to use the second grab command with the dash v switch which means that it will not the, it will invert the output so if we just say dash e dash dash that would mean that it will list all the lines which contain dash dash from the file 
which would be these separators, but we want everything else but the separators. So that's why we said dash v dash e dash uh, dash dash. <laughs> so this one is reversing. This one is defining the search terms. So of course, sometimes you have to work with your uh, mirrors, even on an install system, because maybe you have uh, an outdated mirror list, like you try to update, update your system and uh, all, most of the servers just time out because they don't exist anymore. So maybe you want to get a fresh mirror list, then you can go to the mirrors page in the ArchWiki and there will be a list to the Pac-Man mirror list generator. And in this one, actually, you can just uh, select maybe you want Germany and Greece and Hungary and Iceland and just type generate list. And so it will just generate a mirror list based on all of these countries. And you can just uh, save it and move it uh, and replace your old mirror list with that. Of course, you cannot really do this in the installation. So that's why I wanted to uh, talk about this uh, command line tool that you can use or this combination of command line uh, commands to use. Okay, so what's next? So we have created our new mirror list. So maybe you want to move around some of these mirrors. So for example, in my case, I want to put the ones that are in the country I am in to the top and uh, the others like a little more down. So the first try will always be a, a server that is in my country. So you, you can use either Vim or Nano. Both are provided on the Arch ISO. So let's uh, try first uh, Vim mirror list. So you can see that we are, this is our mirror list file now. And so in Vim, you can move the cursors with the letters H, J, K, L, or you can also use the uh, cursor keys and uh, you can cut lines with uh, the first we press number two and then D twice. And then you move the cursor where you want to paste and pasting is the P letter and then saving and uh, closing is uh, colon W and Q. So let's uh, do this. I want to move. So I want these four lines. So these two South Korea servers, I want to move them. So I'll press four DD actually, not just two DD. And I move to the second line and I press P. So now these two uh, servers from South Korea are there. So I will just move up and uh, 2DD, remove this from Japan and go here and press P. So you can see now, maybe I want these two Taiwan servers to be after the Japan server. And then I can just press colon. So you can see that on the bottom of the screen, the colon appears and then W stands for right and Q stands for quit. So now we've quitted and if I just uh, open this again in Vim, then you can see that the changes have been uh, saved. Now I can just quit with colon Q. So if you don't like this, because Vim is kind of, you have to get used to all these things. I quite like Vim, but whatever, maybe you want to use Nano. And so in Nano you move with the cursor keys, you select lines with shift and then cut with control K and paste with control U and save when exit by pressing the alt X and then just type Y to save modifications. So let's just do nano mirror list. So now we are in nano and so you can just move with the cursor keys. So maybe I want to move this server up there. So I press uh, shift down twice to select these two lines. I can use control K as shown on the bottom there to cut this. And so in Vim, if you want to paste, you will always move the line above. So you will paste below this line, but in Nano, you will move the line below. So you will paste above the cursor. So we can press control and uh, you to paste text as it's uh, in the 
on the down and there we can just press Ctrl X to exit and Y and the file name is asked here so we just press enter and uh, let's clear this here and just say less mirror list and uh, so it just see you can see that uh, uh, our file have been properly saved so this concludes my presentation so in today's video we have uh, learned how to uh, select the mirrors from our list which corresponds to the countries that are geographically close to us and we also learned how to use basic command line tools to edit this mirror list so that the order of the mirrors is uh, well good for us and uh, so thank you for watching this video if you like it just give a thumbs up you can find other videos about Arch Linux in the playlist and if there is a new episode then this will appear here and you can subscribe up uh, here and uh, leave a comment down below if you have uh, anything to add to the discussion or if you have questions, comments about today's video. Uh, I hope you will have a nice day and I will see you next time. Bye bye!